Hello and welcome to the second video covering the Epson Meter Installer. My name is Derek, I'm the Application and Training Specialist for Epson Australia. This video covers the expanded features of the Epson Meter Installer for higher end large format printers. In this presentation, we will look at creating a custom media file for a fine art paper and the steps involved. We will step through the settings in Epson Media Installer and what each one does. We will cover the suggested equipment and requirements to create the custom media. Then we will look at printing with the created custom settings. Firstly, if you haven't already downloaded and installed Epson Media Installer, go to the epson.com.au website and the support section to get the software. Epson Media Installer can be found in several locations with each printer. Once downloaded, install Epson Media Installer and run the application. There are several prerequisites to operating Epson Media Installer. The computer with Epson Media Installer installed must have an internet connection. The computer must be connected to the printer via either Ethernet, USB or Wi-Fi. And the printer driver for your printer must also be installed on the computer. Once up and running, Epson Media Installer will search for the printer via its serial number. You will then be presented with the main screen showing the pre-installed Epson Media. These are the current media that are supported in the printer driver. Let's have a look at what each one of these settings means in Epson Media Installer. On the main screen, there are five icons. Copy Media, Edit, Remove, Import, Export. Below are the connected printers. You can have more than one printer installed. At the top middle of the screen is the main media management tab, then the media download tab. To the right is the refresh button. The media download tab, when selected, allows access to media from Epson and other vendors on the Epson media servers. On the main screen, media management, each displayed media can be edited. Let's firstly have a look at what the edit options mean. We will be creating a new media soon. There are a number of settings that can be edited. The media can be given a custom name, the media type can be selected, and the platen gap can be set. Drying time per pass stops the printhead between each swath for a nominated time to allow for the ink to dry if required. This will slow the print process yet is required if the surface coating of the media is susceptible to slower drying times. Usually the media manufacturer or supplier will have experience on what these settings will suit the media. Drying time per page pauses the printer between prints if drying is required between pages, usually more suited for multi-sheet printing. Roll tension can be adjusted on the printers which have control over this feature. This adds additional tension to the media to help flatten the media on the platen. This can create some micro banding if not set correctly for that particular media. Paper suction can also help adhere the media to the platen, especially if the media had a lot of memory or curl when coming off the roll. Thick fine art media tends to display more curl that will need to be controlled. Skew reduction is a feature built into some printers to alleviate the chance of media twisting or tracking incorrectly through the printer. This also allows the printer to make fine adjustments to reduce the skewing possibilities. Top and bottom margins allow you to either increase or decrease the border around the print. Lateral feed adjustment also helps with some skewing on the printer. It is recommended to leave this on in most cases. If you are creating a specific media type for a very thin media and you are noticing some wrinkling in the paper, then try turning lateral feed adjustment off. Margin between prints increases or decreases the distance between each printed page. Auto cut can be either enabled or disabled to suit. Paper eject roller is usually for sheet printing where the printer will hold the media not allowing it to drop when the printing is complete. 
paper size check is recommended to be left on. This detects the media width when the paper is loaded. This can be turned off if an error occurs when the paper is loaded, allowing you to set the width manually before loading the paper. Paper feed offset helps adjust any banding that may appear in the print. Incremental percentages can be added to compensate for any issues in the print. Roll core diameter needs to be selected depending on the media type. Most thick media have a 3 inch core and thinner media a 2 inch core. ICC profiles allow you to add the recommended ICC profile that is either created by the third party media manufacturer, supplier or created by the user. Once added, the ICC can be selected in the print application. Some third party media may suggest using the default Epson ICC profile. The most important tool that will help with the media creation is either a digital micrometer, a digital thickness gauge, or a set of digital calipers to measure the thickness of the media. Any one of these tools will do the correct job. Using the digital version records a more accurate measurement. Now let's create a custom media. The first step is to identify the Epson base media. This could be a recommendation from the media manufacturer or a visual representation by selecting something that closely matches the media you are creating. Once identified, select the desired media from the list. For this example, we will use Ultra Smooth Fine Art as our base media, as we are creating a new Fine Art print environment, which the media we have is very similar to the Ultra Smooth Fine Art media. Select the Ultra Smooth Fine Art and press the Copy Media button in the top left of the screen. You will be presented with a confirmation screen. Select OK. The media will now be copied to the list and named Ultra Smooth Fine Art Paper Copy. Any media you choose will have the word copy in brackets to identify it. Select the copied media and press the edit button. This will now open the edit media settings window where all your data will need to be entered. Add the name you wish to use for the media and select the media type. It is recommended to leave the platen gap on auto, although if you are experiencing some print head contact with the media, this can be manually adjusted. Keep in mind that the further away the print head is from the media, the more chance of subtle haloing effect could appear on the print, although this is more noticeable in fine text areas. The drying times will have to be tested on the print and can be re-edited at a later stage if required. By default, the roll tension on fine art media is set to high, although in testing, we have found that extra high one or two does work well without any noticeable issues. Keep in mind that this is just a recommendation and can differ in individual circumstances. As with tension, paper suction will vary. We suggest starting at zero and adjusting to suit. If you are experiencing any significant scuffing, the suction can be increased to help reduce this. The most important setting when creating the media is the paper thickness. Some manufacturers will have the thickness on their packaging or on their website. It is however recommended that you check the thickness with the measuring tool you have acquired. This is the most accurate way to achieve the best results. Now proceed to the next column to finalize the settings. Do not disregard them as it is important to set the rest to your liking. Once complete, set OK and the settings will now be applied to the printer and the printer driver. Should you wish to share the new media type with other users, the file can be exported and then imported into other computers if required. 
To export the media type and import into another computer, simply select the media type you wish to share. Press the export button. You will be presented with a screen stating that this media type is for the current printer. Select next. The next screen is copyright information. Select OK and save the file with the .emy format to a network folder or portable drive so others can install the file. To import the file onto another computer, make sure the Epson Media Installer is installed, an internet connection is active, and the printer is connected. Select the import button, change the suffix to .emy from .emx, select media and open. You will now have the media type available on another computer. Now that the new media has been created, the information will be installed to the printer and the printer driver. To print this example, we will use Photoshop. Go to the print options, set up the initial settings. Here we are using the ultra smooth fine art ICC profile. Select the print settings Select the media type, in this case, Fine Art, and you will see the newly created media in the list. Select this media, set up the rest of your settings, and you're ready to print. Epson Media Installer is a very useful application that gives the user control over the media creation options to define the best quality output available. Thank you for your time viewing this video. I'm sure you'll be able to achieve the best quality prints from your Epson product. I will be adding more content as it becomes available. Goodbye.